Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. Currently we are starting the second module of our deep learning course where we will be discussing about the mathematics required for deep learning. In the first module we have discussed about the basics of deep learning and neural networks such as how does a neural network work, what is a perceptron, a loss function, activation function and so on. In the second module we are going to discuss about all the math concepts required in order to understand neural network in a better way. I wanted to make this quick introductory video explaining you all the broader aspects that we would cover in this mathematics for deep learning. So let's get started. So uh, in this second module called as math for deep learning, first we will discuss about linear algebra. So uh, in this linear algebra, we will predominantly uh, understand and discuss about vectors and matrices and generally in deep learning uh, neural networks, you know, heavily relies on this matrix operations for tasks like, you know, the different transformations that happens within a perceptron and different computations that happens there. And basically matrices are used to store the weights that the neural network uses and also for manipulating the data and so on. We will also discuss about like vectors, vectors operations and, and, and other details as well. And then we have the statistics. Statistics is an interesting field and it kind of helps you in order to analyze your data better. So we have this descriptive statistics where it is again used in machine learning as well as deep learning in order to understand your data better by describing it. So this is what we call as descriptive statistics kind of representing or describing your data better so that we can make better decisions, uh, you know, of what model that you're going to choose and how we are going to kind of solve that problem and so on. Uh, and then we have this inferential statistics where we work predominantly on building this predictive systems. So understanding statistics is also a key. And then we will discuss about probability, which is again a very important aspect. And uh, we have this concept called as probability theory and that's going to be used heavily in deep learning. So deep learning doesn't say that, you know, this image is a cat or this image is a dog or something like that. So it would say like, what's the probability that this particular image belongs to this class or this image belongs to this class. So it's again important to understand this probability, all those probability functions and, and all the distributions that we have. So that's what probability is like uh, really helpful in order to kind of understand what is happening within the model as well in order to make those probabilistic decisions. Also, it helps us to understand the distributions in our data and how to handle that. And then finally, we will discuss about calculus and calculus is a very important aspect of deep learning, especially like derivatives, the differential calculus and this, you know, derivatives is essential for optimization algorithms like gradient descent. And we know that we kind of train this neural network in order to decrease this loss function, right, to minimize this. So for all these purposes, we need to understand, uh, you know, this derivatives because all those gradient descent kind of, uh, you know, follows the concepts of differential calculus and we also have this concept called as chain rule and this chain rule is used extensively in back propagation so in the first module also we have understood like what is meant by this back propagation and this particular chain rule right so this is used for computing gradients in the neural network which basically happens in this back propagation thing so these are some of the aspects of all these math concepts and, and where this is used in deep learning so it's like really critical in order to understand this so i would say it's it's you can kind of still learn to uh, build neural networks and, and you can still train it but i would say in order to have that complete knowledge in order to understand uh, you know neural networks and order to build more complex network it's essential to understand this math concepts as well so anyone can just learn a bunch of functions in python and they can like you know implement it but understanding the math behind this to have like a clear intuition of what is happening right so it's going to help you in order to build this complex network and, and solve like complex problem so uh, this is what I wanted to cover in this introductory video. In the next video, let's uh, understand about this linear algebra and other concepts that are uh, present in these vectors and matrices. So that's it from my side and I'll see you in the next upload. Thanks for watching.